strange when you're a stranger faces look ugly when you're alone have a good have a good day thank you you too all right this is hands down the most emotional baby i've ever seen in my life his brother and sister just left for school and this is his honest reaction he's not just upset He's upset that he's upset. So what does he do? Slaps himself in the face. This is an outward expression of what he's feeling on the inside. People will ask me why I didn't laugh. Because I was scared. This is none other than the evil villain's origin story. Everybody's freaking out over the Everybody's freaking out over the thin eyebrows. I love my thin eyebrows. I've been doing thin eyebrows for evs. Because when I have thick eyebrows, I look like this. Hey, what's up? Hi, what's up? Hey, what's up? See the difference? <laughs> you know what? You don't have to stick with trends. Whatever looks good on your face, just do it. I just can't get you out. You know when Jesus says that my you know, you know when Jesus says that my yoke is easy and my burden is light, is there any Old Testament background to that? Well, yes, there is. In fact, if you're reading through the Bible in one year along with me, you encountered an instance of this in Isaiah chapter 47 this morning. In verse 6, we read about how the Babylonians have placed on the aged a yoke that is exceedingly heavy. Now, in Hebrew, a yoke is an ol, and a yoke can be used both literally as well as metaphorically. Literally refers to the yoke that we place on the neck of oxen, so they would pull a plow or pull a wagon. But it's also used metaphorically and almost always in a negative sort of sense. So when Solomon died and Rehoboam took over, the people complained that Solomon had made their yoke exceedingly heavy. When people were conquered by a foreign power, such as Israel, by the Babylonians, often a metaphor of a yoke was used to describe how these people now carried a heavy burden upon them. That's what's reflected in the book of Isaiah. Later rabbis would talk about taking upon the yoke of the Torah, which was the responsibility to keep the laws of the Torah. Now, Jesus says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That doesn't mean that the Christian life is just carefree, but it means that in Christ, he doesn't come to lay upon our shoulders all of these oppressive burdens of laws, but to free us from that so that we serve him in perfect freedom. So they walk as children of light in the freedom and the grace and the mercy which he has poured out upon us. So his yoke is easy.